In summary, stem cells do not just come from human embryos. They have been found in most body and extra embryonic tissues and membranes. What separates a stem cell from other cells is its ability to self-renew or make more of themselves without aging. Normally, when a cell divides, its DNA loses the end tips known as telomeres, and this is thought to be what makes the cell age. This does not happen in stem cells, but the telomeres remain the same length as the one thing that no other body cell can do. Stem cells can also mature into different, more specialized cells than themselves, and this is what is of interest to most. Their ability to do this is defined in terms of potency. Many body cells that are not stem cells can also do this. For example, cells from the zygotic stage are the only known totipotent cells of ones able to mature into all body parts, but they cannot self-renew, so a zygote is not a stem cell. Individual cell programming begins at the first cleavage, and the organism is in the embryonic stage of development. In human development, it will remain an embryo until approximately after the eighth week of development, when it moves to the fetal stage. Cells taken anywhere during the embryonic period are correctly termed embryonic stem cells, but an embryo is not a stem cell. By day 14, the three major layers of parts, called germ layers, have formed. Stem cells that only differentiate within the germ layer are called multipotent and include many adult stem cells that reside in tissues. Stem cells that can differentiate between germ layers, therefore, can make most or all body tissues and are called pluripotent. Although they have not yet been shown to become all body types in the lab, stem cells taken from a deconstructed embryo are believed to retain that ability they showed while the embryo was still intact and therefore are considered pluripotent. Pluripotent stem cells have also been found in bare sheet and adult stem cells. Additionally, four factors have been identified which, when manipulated, can turn adult stem cells into embryonic quality. Next week, we will discuss the differences between stem cell types, their advantages and disadvantages for research and therapies. We hope you enjoy the show and will continue to tune in and learn more about stem cells, and how they can address damage done by injury or disease.